were at the games last year? Yeah, in the Masters Division, the 45 and 49 group. How'd you do? Came in 11th place. Out of? Out of uh, the 20 that were sent. So, uh, you're going to the games this year? If I qualify. And what does it take to qualify? Well, the CrossFit Open starts, the first workout is announced on February 22nd. It's one workout or one wad per week for five consecutive weeks. So if I'm fortunate enough to make the top 20, I will go back to the games. Leading up to the Open with the hopes of going to the CrossFit Games, uh, in the master's category. It's tough not to think about anything, but training, recovery, gotta get to bed, need some more sleep, eat, measure my food, weigh my food. Is there gluten in that? You know, it's just, it's tough to think about anything else. So it's kind of a part, it is a part-time job. My training has changed in the sense that I've just, I've, I think I've trusted my coaches here at Tribe a lot more. Um, I think Ben Bergeron from CrossFit uh, New England said it, I think he was quoted in a CrossFit Journal article, uh, you know, athletes need to think like bumblebees but train like racehorses in that bumblebees aerodynamically speaking are not supposed to be able to fly but they don't know that so they just fly anyway. So think like that and then as far as the racehorse goes, racehorses don't question their trainers, they just do what they're told. And it's paid off for me, and again, going into the open, I'm a lot more confident. How do it feel? Oh, man. You know, really tired, but that's good work. <laughs>